The roseate spoonbill and the great egret are foraging in the same location in the refuge. They demonstrate similarities and differences between the two water wading birds. The roseate spoonbill gives a master class on their methods of foraging. The great egret gives a master class on their methods of foraging. The roseate spoonbill is a tactile predator that sweeps its specialized bill side to side to filter prey from the water. The great egret is a flexible visual predator that uses its long neck and bill to stab prey. Roseate spoonbills typically forage in shallow water that is less than five inches deep. Great egrets forage in shallow water, typically up to about 11 inches deep. Roseate spoonbills do not hunt by sight. Instead, they wade slowly and sweep their partially open, spoon-shaped bills from side to side in the water. Great egrets forage by standing motionless or slowly walking in shallow water, striking prey with a rapid, lightning-fast thrust of their long bills,
Great egrets and roseate spoonbills often live in the same regions and share habitats. They are both large wading birds that frequent wetlands, though the great egrets range is much broader across the country. The roseate spoonbill and the great egret are foraging in the same location in the refuge. They demonstrate similarities and differences between the two water wading birds. The roseate spoonbill gives a master class on their methods of foraging.
but Ray Egret gives a master class on their methods of foraging.